Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 2. Therefore, any one of you who judges is without excuse. For when you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you, the judge, do the same things. We know that God's judgment on those who do such things is based on truth. Do you really think any one of you who judges those who do such things yet do the same, that you will escape God's judgment? Or do you despise the riches of his kindness, restraint, and patience, not recognizing that God's kindness is intended to lead you to repentance? But because of your hardness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath. When God's righteous judgment is revealed, he will repay each one according to his works. Eternal life to those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality. But wrath and indignation to those who are self-seeking and disobey the truth but are obeying unrighteousness. Affliction and distress for every human being who does evil first to the Jew and also to the Greek, but glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does what is good, first to the Jew and also to the Greek. There is no favoritism with God. All those who sin without the law will also perish without the law, and all those who sin under the law will be judged by the law. For the hearers of the law are not righteous before God, but the doers of the Lord will be declared righteous. So, when Gentiles who do not have the law instinctively do what the law demands, they are a law to themselves, even though they do not have the law. They show that the work of the law is written on their hearts. Their consciences confirm this. Their competing thoughts will either accuse or excuse them on the day when God judges what people have kept in secret, according to my gospel through Christ Jesus. Now, if you call yourself a Jew and rest in the law, boast in God, know his will, and approve the things that are superior, being instructed from the law. And if you are convinced that you are a guide for the blind, a light for those in darkness, an instructor of the ignorant, a teacher of the immature, having the full expression of knowledge and truth in the law, you then, who teach another, don't you teach yourself? You who preach, you must not steal. Do you steal? You who say, you must not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? You who detest idols, do you rob their temples? You who boast in the law, do you dishonor God by breaking the law? For as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. For circumcision benefits you if you observe the law. But if you are a lawbreaker, your circumcision has become uncircumcision. Therefore, if an uncircumcised man keeps the law's requirements, Will his uncircumcision not be counted as circumcision? A man who is physically uncircumcised but who fulfills the law will judge you who are a lawbreaker in spite of having the letter of the law and circumcision. For a person is not a Jew who is one outwardly. The true circumcision is not something visible in the flesh. On the contrary, a person is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is of the heart, by the spirit, not the letter. That man's praise is not from men, but from God. Please click like if you are on Facebook, or subscribe if you are on YouTube. But always remember, by sharing this video, you are sharing God's word. May God bless and keep you.